the most glamorous and gifted opera singer of our time. That's just one tribute that's been paid to the soprano, Angela Gorky. Earlier this year, Angela won Female Artist of the Year at the Classical Brit Awards. Now she's returned to Britain, star in an opera which has not been staged at the Royal Opera House for more than 100 years. It's called Adriana Le Couvreur. Angela is here. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome <laughs> to the programme. Before we have nice a little to... chat, uh, we were invited to the final rehearsal, weren't we, of the opera? Yes. So we're going to show I Angela. Oh, did you? <laughs> okay. Did you? We were yes. making too much noise at the back, were we? Oh, no, yes, a lot. Uh, I saw, like, uh, a lot of uh, flashing and, you know, noise from um, uh, um, photos or cameras uh, and lights, like it, here. So I'm okay. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> I'm here you okay. are, then, in Act <laughs> yes. 3 of yes. Adriana Le, Le Couvreur. Couvreur. There you are, and presumably you are Adriana Le Couvreur. <coughs> Is that right? Yes, I am Adriana Le Couvreur in a yeah. way, because um, she. Uh, this is a real story. So Adriana Le Couvreur exists. Mm -hmm. So she was like, uh, we don't have today uh, an Adriana Le Couvreur. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah Bernard, for, for, for me, is uh, almost on, on the same way, you know, to be uh, loved by um, a really high society and different uh, ways of uh, um, uh, actor or, um, you know, a, a woman who really was a very powerful and very, uh, you know, uh, revolutionary in a way. Mm. And a woman who is adored. So what's yes, the story? <laughs> uh, no, I'm used uh, to have this feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I cannot say that. <laughs> but she met an unhappy end, did she? Uh, sorry? Uh, Adriana Le Couvreur. Uh, it, it is not a happy end at all. No. no, we don't like happy ends at the opera. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we like so much to cry, <laughs> um, but not us. That's because of the composers. They all always want uh, the soprano uh, died at the, at the end. So mm. I'm always uh, have, having this kind of uh, um, bravos from everybody. Oh, you, you die so well. <laughs> <laughs> you die very well in Madame Butterfly. Oh, yes. That's a another big tragedy okay. yeah. big tragedy by yes. Puccini yes by and, Puccini. Uh, and th yeah. that was the first time you you played it it's come out on on DVD now yes but, uh, yes exactly in fact uh, this is uh, this is uh, one of my habitudes you know because uh, I'm doing my first roles uh, maybe it's a coincidence but uh, in almost 20 years everything I, I record or film mm. was for the first time of my life so uh, even um, Adriana Le Couvreur yeah. uh, yesterday was first time in my life uh, and, and Butterfly yeah. you, you have it on, on CD it is but the Adriana Le Couvreur is interesting because it's by a composer called Chile who's so sort of relatively unknown yes, he's, yes. A, he's a contemporary of Puccini yes. and it hasn't been staged at, uh, at not quite well, well it's 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 in more more than Puccini this is a very small opera so it's like after Puccini okay yeah. but it um it hasn't been staged at the Royal Opera House for more than 100 years although it has been played elsewhere why why have they not done it for so long do you think? <gasps> why <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea I have mm. no idea it's very rare uh, on on stage in all, all over the world but um I for this production, uh, I'm, I, like I said many times, it's like my fault because I asked for, uh, for Adriana Locover at the Opera House and initially I, uh, it, it was uh, supposed uh, to, to do it many years ago, but I changed with another opera, La Ronde. So what do you ask for, I you ask get to at the Opera House, <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yes, yes, fortunately, because they, they really uh, uh, 
trust me and I trust the uh, uh, Royal Opera House in everything they, 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 mm. they do on, on stage. And there are some composers you adore. You said about Puccini that yeah. um, if he had been alive today, I'd be in love with him. And yes, 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 for sure. Why? For sure. What does he create that's so extraordinary? Uh, he, I, f I feel like he really understands and uh, adores uh, w women in each phrase, each word. So, um, uh, also um, reminds me uh, Tosca, for example. Um, so he. Uh, he, th he thought that, that all the uh, big personages uh, and big per personalities uh, in, in history, um, he, he wanted to, to create from theater uh, to, to stage also uh, um, mm. exactly wha uh, what I said before about, about Tosca. He saw it with, uh, with uh, um, uh, Sarah Bernard, yes. and that's why uh, he wanted to do it on stage. Your life as story. An opera. Your life, personal life story. My life. Quite oh, oh, yes. Yes. Sure, my so life. You, born in <laughs> you come from a small town in Romania. Yes. And you uh, grew up under the Ceausescu regime, the communist yes. regime. Yes. And then just at the time when you were sort of what, graduating as a, as a singer, is that right? Everything changed in 1989. Yes, everything changed, but uh, you know, but not uh, not for um, uh, for the artist, not for the opera singer. I I always uh, I I never ever lived uh, one second not being an opera singer and not not having uh, performances. I wa I was like uh, um, you know like a in, in double life, going to school and then uh, having performances on stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, to to have the audition in Covent Garden was exactly uh, my fixed idea. I wanted to come to Covent Garden, and uh, in uh, during my my last uh, year of uh, studies in uh, in Academy of Music, I, I made my first audition in, in London. So a uh, few months after, I I. I I made my debut in Covent Garden with La Bohème. Well, I think we should treat viewers before <laughs> yeah, we go with a little listen to you playing Madame Butterfly Madame because Butterfly. it's such an extraordinary role. Here it is. Thank you. Let's see. with uh, Jonas Kaufmann, who was a, a tenor who was also experiencing yeah. that role for the first time as well. Yes, so all it's a coincidence. Huh? <laughs> yes, all these new yeah. roles that you've taken off on, what, what, what is the big role that you think is still left for you? That, is there L one that you haven't done yet that you'd love to do? Um, there are some, not so many. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe in heavier, heavier roles. Um, I... I, whew, I don't know. I don't know that at the moment. But the, the list is very huge. Did you get you get <laughs> you get uh, I really yeah. get quite bound up yeah. emotionally with uh, with with your with your roles when you're you're singing on stage. Yeah. And I think at one point you said you find it difficult either to do an encore or to accept the applause because you were crying so much. Is that right? Um, yes, but not uh, not always. You know, it's very very hard. L like like yesterday. Um, uh, during my, my last scene, uh, I, I saw um, Jonas' faces. So, and 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 my um, my uh, Alessandro, my the, the other colleague, uh, with with uh, tears, and and also you know to create a personage and having the possibility to sing at the same time, I need to control myself very very well. It's not um, it's not so so easy yes. really. Mm. Everybody really. else can cry, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's against. The <laughs> law <laughs> that an opera singer is, uh, uh, imagine to cry and say, go, 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 go. <laughs> I, I cannot. <laughs> but it's it's a, it's a wonderful um, moment for for me to be uh, in in Covent Garden and, right. and yeah. having a, such a, an important role. We're very pleased to have you with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Angela's recording of Madame Butterfly out now. You can see Lovely. her perform at the Royal Opera House until the seventh of December. Mm -hmm.